radioactivity. Once uranium escaped from the prison and the police was in pursuit of the escaped convict. Police chased uranium down to a building in which he was hiding. However, once they entered the building, to their surprise, they found thorium and there were no sign of uranium. Police got confused and didn't understand what happened to uranium and left. Do you want to learn about the magic trick uranium played? If yes, then you need to know about radioactivity. Radioactivity is the spontaneous emission of energy in form of moving waves or streams of particles from an unstable nucleus. An unstable nucleus emits alpha, beta and gamma particles. As the atomic number increases, the ratio of protons to neutrons in the nucleus of an atom gets skewed, resulting in an unstable nucleus. Radioactivity is primarily observed in elements with atomic number greater than 83. The magic uranium performed to convert into thorium is called alpha decay. Uranium gives out an alpha particle to change into more stable thorium atom. Alpha particle is nothing but a helium nucleus containing two proton and two neutrons. Alpha is a heavy particle which travels slowly and can be stopped with a sheet of paper. Similar to uranium, cesium changes into barium, but it emits a beta particle. Beta particle is a fast-moving electron and can be stopped using an aluminium sheet. During radioactive decay, scientists found that the total mass of resultant particles is less than the mass of original atoms. This led to discovery of gamma radiation from emitted by unstable nucleus. Gamma radiations are high energy waves traveling at very high speeds and can only be stopped by a lead slap. Since an unstable nucleus disintegrates, there must be something that holds it, nucleus together. It is called binding energy. Binding energy is the energy required to break the nucleus into constituents. Mass defect is the loss of mass during radioactivity and it is used to calculate binding energy with help of our friend Einstein. Radioactive disintegration follow first order kinetics which means rate of decrease of radioactive nuclei at any time is directly proportional to the number of radioactive nuclei present at that time. On integrating this, we get the final equation where n naught is initial number of molecules, n is number of molecules at particular time and lambda is the decay constant. In a radioactive reactions, the time taken for half of the molecules of disintegrate is called half time. In the radioactive equation, if we substitute n with n naught by 2, we get T half is 0 0.693 by lambda. Remember this formula. Haven't you heard that Stone Age dates back to 2600 BC or dinosaurs lived on Earth millions of years ago? But how do scientists know this? Did their ancestors tell them? The answer is again radioactivity. Scientists are using uranium dating for non-living objects and carbon dating for living objects. Dating? No, no, no. It is not the same dating we always think about. This dating involves radioactivity and unstability. If you take the radioactive disintegration of uranium, its final stable product is lead. In the rock, if you can determine the number of lead and uranium atoms to find the age of the rock. Similarly, we use carbon dating to determine the age of dinosaur fossils. For any living creature, ratio of C14 and C12 is constant. But as soon as the creature dies, the concentration of C14 starts decreasing, thus decreasing the ratio of C14 and C12. By knowing the ratio C14 and C12, we can find the age of any fossil. By using similar formula as above, where n is the ratio in a living being and n is the ratio in the fossil. Thank you. Please like, share and comment on the video and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. For more interesting and educational videos to earn while you learn, download Extra Class app from Google Play Store and get rewarded for studying.